In this video I show you another application of the LM fit tab, but this time I want to determine the molecular orientation. So the data that I'm going to show you here oops, uh, is also in the example data uh, folder. It's example 4, this number here. Um, what we are here, this is uh, actually quite some quite old data. It is the pentacene multilayer data, which was used in uh, our science paper from 2009. Uh, basically, it's this set of data. It's, it's just rotated by 90 degrees here in the program now. Uh, so the thing is that the, the molecule is aligned along one direction but it's tilted so um, and we want to determine this tilt angle you can all have a look at this paper here if you want to know more also there's more details on the on the supporting information of this paper where we describe how we did the fitting at that time where we only used the lines can kind of along one direction well now in the program the k-map we use the whole the whole k-map so this is the data, but as I said, just rotated by 90 degrees. And I should focus on one particular slice, say for instance, uh, this kinetic energy here. So what I need here is uh, again, um, an orbital, pentacene, homo orbital, which is also in the same folder. And yes, so that's the, the pentacene orbital. I just have to uh, make sure that now I get the correct orientation. Uh, basically, if I would I have to get the tilt of the molecule, I have to change this angle theta. But first, I have to rotate the molecule by 90 degrees. Then this angle theta, if you look at it from the side, makes such a tilt here. You see, and. Because I then I want to uh, have the whole thing rotated by 90 degrees, I have to make another 90 degree ro rotation after basically. Yeah? And then to take into account the twofold symmetry, I can either load a second pentacene homo orbital with and then add minus 25 degree here, or I can also use here the symmetrization. And yes, and that's what I want to do. I want to determine this angle here such that the simulated map fits best to this uh, experimental data set. So I go to the LM fit tab now. Yes, basically, I have to uh, now repeat the settings that I've done here also for the orbital uh, presented here. So I have to um, change the angle phi here to 90 degrees psi to 90 degrees and what I want to vary is theta so if for instance if I go to 10 degrees uh, 10 degrees you see here the selected orbital is changed and what I also want to vary is the, the weight and I also want to include a constant background here so these three parameters the background the weight and the theta angle of the pentacene homo would be but first I need to uh, also have the correct settings here so the the full uh, photo emission intensity including the a.k dot k factor it's again data from the toroid uh, I want to symmetrize the data yes and then I can already do the deconvolution again. I'll make a little bit of coarser grid here to make speed it up a little bit. Um, I choose the data set that I want to use for my fitting. So it's this slide number two here. And the one thing I was also need to change is the angle of incidence because this changes the a dot k factor. Okay, um, and then I click on, I only want to fit this sl single slice here, 
click on fit and then the program the LM fit module determines the angle and it finds an angle a best angle of 21.2 degrees with some uncertainty also the, the weight is determined and also the back background yeah. okay that's what i want to do show you in this video